two years ago, I made a video that was named Selling Digital Products Without a Website. And you know what? It became a huge hit. It's still my number one video on the platform. What I talked in that video was the new, at that time, new platform called Koji. The website's called withkoji.com. And it was an amazing piece of software, at least for the time, because this was also the time when everyone went bananas about Linktree and all of those social buttons. But today, I want to talk to you about whether that platform has aged well, what are its features, and what is its one alternative that I actually shifted to. Oh, and by the way, stick around till the end of the video, because I'm going to give you a money tip, specifically a money-making tip. Let's get into it. Koji is an interesting platform, and we're going to jump to the screen right now. It's social friendly. It's supposed to live in the social world, and its promise is really about build a product, link it to this button, and sell it anywhere you want. They do all of their sales through what they call templates. And when you go to see a template, actually, you know what? Why don't we just look at this rather than just talking about this? So here we are on the Koji website, and uh, there's a lot of things going on, obviously marketing materials. But when we jump into templates, you'll see that the way you act, the way you sell, the way you interact with your audience is by using one of these templates. So if you want to sell digital products, you would pick something like this up, configure it, so here we go. We just picked this template. Uh, it shows you one of the ways you can predetermine the background and how it's going to look. And once you're happy with it, you move on to the next part, which is you give your product a name and you give it a great description. You can add a banner image. You can add a mobile image logo if you wanted to, but I'm just going to click next. In this particular case, keep 95% of purchases. So the cost of selling with this template is 5%. And this is one of those tricks that I could never understand about Koji. Every one of these templates has a very different fee structure. And it ranges anywhere from 5% to, I believe I saw, upwards of 15 to 18% of every transaction that whole Koji holds back. I don't quite understand why that works. And I'm sure some of you watching might have figured this out. So if you can help me in the description below, I would greatly appreciate it. But this is it. You are almost done. You can click publish and off you go. In, in much the same way, we can do it with other uh, types of templates. So if you want to sell an ebook, you would go configure it, attach a PDF version. You see the steps are very simple and then you publish and then you go. And then you deploy it across your social channels. You will have something that looks like an app that people can browse through and pick up your product. Great, fantastic. It's really easy and it does not really require a website. Great. There was one problem though. And I don't know how pervasive this is, but a number of people who watched my video and then started using the platform also reported problems with getting money out. They made a couple of sales and after a couple of sales, they could no longer withdraw the money that the product was generating. Again, I don't have personal experience with that. I don't know if it's a one-off situation. Maybe there is a very good reason why that's the case. But then I did some research online and I've seen that a number of people have reported that. Again, I don't want to cause any sort of alarm or point a finger at the platform because usually these situations happen. What other challenges do we have is, so we talked about fees. We talked about challenges with sometimes challenges with getting money out. Support and documentations are iffy at best. If you're a novice and if you don't befriend technology, I would recommend you Pick something different. So if Koji is this, what am I using today? Well, I have my personal website and I use WooCommerce on WordPress. But if I had to go someplace else, I recently discovered Gumroad. And I didn't actually know that Gumroad existed for a very long time. 
But let's talk about Gumroad. Now, Gumroad takes a different approach to Koji. It's more of a marketplace for everything. It's an e-commerce website. And they made it exceptionally easy and straightforward for you to sell anything. And much like Koji, you can have subscriptions, you can have classes, you can sell digital products, eBooks, templates, whatever your heart desires. In fact, if you look at the website and you start scrolling down, you get a lot of the features that the website off offers right here. And they're very easy to pick up. Even if you're new to e-commerce, you will understand what you need to do. Let me, let me just show you what you can find in the Discover section. Discover section is essentially a storefront of everything that's being sold on uh, Gumroad. And you can see that you have anything from audio to business and money to comics, graphic novels, books, design, drawing and painting. It's incredible. It's incredible. And every uh, listing looks a bit like this. Let's just jump into design just to see here. Logo Package Express 3.0, $119, nice sales, feedback. And when you go here, you can have multiple different types and versions of the product. You'll have a nice description. This poster created a video so you can, it's easier for you to understand. All of the features are laid out. So we talked about the, the fact that this is a marketplace. It's an easy e-commerce. You can do subscriptions. You can do all of that. In fact, Gumroad is much better on marketing than Koji is. Now we have to talk about the drawbacks. Sometimes a one size does not fit all. And you know that people like to express themselves and Gumroad, like any platform that is closed, will only let you do so many things. Me browsing through the website. I actually like the conformity because I know where to look for, for information, where the features are, where the prices are. It's not all over the place. But if you'd like individuality, if that's something that your brand demands, this is not going to be the platform for you. Now, we also have to talk about transaction fees. Remember when I was saying that Koji is all over the place? Gumroad is actually very much one size fits all. It's a 10% flat fee transaction and that covers everything. Is it a lot? Is it little? That's for you to decide. But they take out any sort of guessing out of the system and they only charge you 10% for every time you sell. Now that we covered all of that, I want to share with you a money-making opportunity. As something that is not on the surface and I have not really seen a lot of people cover. And for that, I will need to log into my uh, Gumroad account. Okay, wonderful. If any of you want to pick up uh, my AI prompts, absolutely, go ahead, go for it. I'll leave a link in the description below. But this is not what I wanted to talk about. This is the interface for people selling products. So this is a library where I um, have a collection of everything that I've interacted with, purchased or download when people were giving it away for free. But I want to show you something. You can have an affiliate for your own product. That is one of the best ways to get the word out because it encourages people to promote your product and they're getting paid. But here's another interesting thing. You can actually be an affiliate of Gumroad itself. Now, what does that mean? Look at this. First of all, earn 10% for each referral sale made by your link. By sharing an affiliate link, you agree to our terms and conditions. Great. You will be attributed any sale you refer within seven days, even if they are for different products you link to. Think of it this way. If you are familiar with how Amazon pays out people for referring to their website, this is the same thing. You can grab any product that's available on Gumroad and promote it as an affiliate. Some products offer you a higher percentage fee, but you can always make the standard 10%. And if people browse and buy something else, you will get that same 10%. So think about this. If you're running a website and if you have a topic that you're talking about, but you haven't yet created your own digital product, you can go to Gumroad, find something that works within that same niche, and then 
perhaps connect with the seller, get an idea of what's covered in there, or buy their product, see if it's worthwhile, and then start promoting it on your website. Let me show you what this looks like. Remember when we were doing Discover? Okay, so let's talk about something that's close to my stuff. This is business, entrepreneurship. Let's see what we have there. Courses, wonderful. Maybe you don't have a course, but people are selling courses. There is a template creator course, which has good reviews, 38 reviews, $150. So 10% of that, just if they're only offering 10%, that is $15 a sale. Look at that, five-star rating, everything's fantastic. Do you know how easy it is to sell it on your website without asking for permission? You go to your search bar. Let's copy this link. Let's go back to our dashboard in within products, click on affiliated, and then pasting your destination here, generate a link. And you see this little number at the end. This is my affiliate number, which is automatically generated by the platform. There's nothing really that you need to do. Now, when you copy this link, and paste it on your platform, voila. Anyone who uses that link buys this product and anything else on the platform yields you 10% of the sale. This is fantastic. Again, remember in my previous videos when I was talking about selling mugs on my website, this is another way of diversifying your income. It does not cost you a single cent and yet yields potential profit. How good you are, how good the conversions are going to be is going to depend on content. And remember in the previous video, we talked about how important content generation is. It can point to you, it can point to your store. And I just showed you a way of creating your online store without creating a single product. So that's a pro tip for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to sell digital products online without a website, you now have two options, at least two options to consider, Koji and Gumroad. Where my vote lies, I would vote for Gumroad just because I like the simplicity of the interface, I like the standardization of the interface, and I know that everyone who comes to this platform accepts that standardization and enjoys the shopping experience. So good luck. Next time, we're going to talk about more advanced selling when you do create your product and what can Thrivecard do for you? See you then.